Hey everybody, so I wanted to show this uh, Google Sheets dashboard I built. Um, this was for a guest post on Ben Collins blog, just to kind of illustrate some of the maybe overlooked design features that are in Google Sheets. Um, if you don't know Ben's blog, he's by far the best resource there is for Google Sheets knowledge. He has courses, he's got lots of free posts and guides. Absolutely amazing resource, so go check it out if you haven't before. Um, but I did this guest post and it was a lot of fun and it was a great way to kind of dig into some of the constraints of Google Sheets and also some of the capabilities. So doing this style of thing in Google Sheets kind of looks impossible to a lot of people. They see it and they go, how in the heck are you styling things like this? How does this work? It's all leveraged off of first building a foundation using the drawing feature. So under the insert tab in Google Sheets, there's a drawing feature and you can build more complex layouts like this. I build the foundation of my page in the drawings feature. What are each of my sections? How are they laid out? How are they organized? That sort of thing. That gets inserted and then on top of it, I layer in charts, scorecards, etc. So the metrics here are scorecard charts, just one of the chart options in Google Sheets. These are bar charts, these are line charts, right? Nothing crazy here. The reason they look kind of nice like this is just because I've taken the time to style them. I've made sure that the colors match, I've made sure that I'm using the right fonts, right? I've just taken a little time to make sure it all lines up, just like you'd do if you were designing a slide deck, right? You just, you would take a little time to make sure you're using the right fonts and colors. That's what I'm doing here. Um, layer those on top, and then this is using a little trick been as posted about before, which is it has a little selector drop down so you can look at different metrics. And all of a sudden we've got like a dynamic dashboard here. And that's a pretty amazing thing that people don't realize they can do in Google Sheets. Like that's powerful. Um, you can also leverage these drawing tools to do pretty cool stuff. This is just a little guide I'm working on. It's gonna be like a copy pasteable set of drawings people can use in their own reports. But like you can create lots of really cool effects. And if you take these and you know layer a few you know charts and metrics on top, you get dashboards that look like well dashboards, <laughs> something people don't really typically do in Google Sheets. Um, so a lot of people see this and they go, well, okay, why would I why would I use Google Sheets for this? Why wouldn't I use Looker Studio or another BI tool? And there's a lot of reasons for that, but I think the big one is that a lot of times folks already have their data living in Sheets where their data lives, it's where they work with their data, where they process their data, where they're already building some of their maybe basic reporting. It's all there already. And that is something that's like actually much more important than I think we realize. A lot of times people say, no, I wanna bring in new tools, they're easier to use, they're better, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that is true sometimes. Sometimes the tools are more purpose-built and they work better, but the bottom line is folks really understand the the visual <laughs> i call them the visual metaphors of spreadsheets but we could call them something else the they understand the interface of spreadsheets um they understand that their data is there it's tangible it's in a table they can look at it and see it and it gives people a little more control and ownership when they go in and say oh i can't build this chart i wonder why they look at their data and they can see why it's all right there in front of them and in a lot of cases, that is the best environment to be using to be looking at processing and working with your data. That interface is something we understand. And because these spreadsheet tools are typically the first tools we start working with when we start working with data, folks kind of understand it in a way that is a little bit more intuitive uh, and they can work with it in a way that's a little more intuitive. So for a lot of situations, that's this is the place to be doing these types of things. Um, there's also a lot of other situations in which it's a good idea. You know, if, you, if you're pulling in data from lots of different sources, APIs, and you're connecting to a SQL database or whatever, in those cases, yeah, you might need a BI tool. But for a huge number of users, I'm sure a much higher percentage than we might guess, they're not doing any of that. The data is in sheets. That's where it lives. That's where, that's where all of their data is being piped into already. And in that case, it can make sense to just stick to Google Sheets. Then you only have to deal with the user permissions of one single thing, right? You don't have to go update user permissions multiple places every time. You don't have to deal with links that then people can't access and a million other things. It's all kind of there and easy to use, easy to access. Um, and frankly, because it's in Sheets, oftentimes a little bit easier to work with. Anyway, I just thought this was a cool idea. I think uh, I, I love Excel and I do a lot of content about Excel, but I think Google Sheets is also just 
an incredibly cool environment for working with spreadsheets. And because it came a little bit after Excel, I think they've had a chance to think about the interface, that this core spreadsheet interface we use for our data in kind of a new, fresh way that um, is sometimes even better and works better than Excel. So anyway, check it out. Um, if you want to check out this blog post, I'll have a link to it. And if you want copies of some of these drawing templates I showed you earlier, I think I'm going to send this out to the newsletter at some point. So you can hop on the newsletter. I'll have a link for that below. And there's just a box you can check that says Google Sheets. And then you'll be on the Google Sheets list when I release content for that kind of stuff. Anyway, I hope that helps everyone. I hope uh, you people find this kind of interface type talk inter interesting or helpful. Um, I think there's a lot to be said for focusing on spreadsheets as the environment for interacting with our data. So let me know how you're using Google Sheets if you're building something like this, if you've ever built dashboards or reports in Google Sheets like this. I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Have a good one. And I'll uh, be back later this week with more content related to spreadsheets. <laughs> See ya.